What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit Structure 2024. Okay, so this video, we are going to learn how to use Copy Monitor tool in Revit. So the first thing that we will be doing is we are going to create a new project and then we are going to link an architectural model. So let's create a new project using a structural template. So click the drop down. Let's look for a structural template create new project and then okay all right and then the next thing that we'll be doing we're going to link the architectural model so let's go to the insert look for link revit okay and then i'm going to link this architectural model so i'll be using auto internal origin to internal origin so i just select your open and then let's wait okay now the next thing that you will be doing after you link an architectural model is you need to pin it okay so you do not want to accidentally move your architectural model so you click that and then look for the pin icon or you can also type pn after you select the model to pin it so click that okay so it's now pinned okay so now the next thing that we'll be doing you see these uh, grids from the architectural model we are going to copy that but we are not going to use the copy tool Instead, we are going to use copy monitor. So we want to copy the grids at the same time we want to monitor it so that any movement from the architectural, mo uh, architectural model, so once we reload the latest architectural model, we will be notified if there is some movement, let's say, on our levels. Okay, so let's do this. So we will be using copy monitor. It monitors and coordinates changes to elements that affect teams from different disciplines. So use the copy monitor tool to monitor elements between the host project, which is our Revit structure, and then the link model, which is the architectural model or within one project. When one team moves or changes a monitored element, other teams are notified so that they can adapt their designs or work with team members to resolve issues. So let's click that drop down we will be using select link because we're going to select the architectural model so let's click that and then let's click the link model that's it you see it highlights so that's the link model when you see it highlights like that okay so you click there you go so you will you are now on the copy monitor tab so what we're going to do is we're going to select copy we want to copy the grids okay so let's select the copy and then here on our options bar i'm gonna tick multiple okay because we're going to select multiple grids so let's do this so you can use a crossing selection like that to select all the grids vertical and then you can also hold control and then let me zoom in first and then hold control so you can click one by one if you want just release your control if you're going to pan okay and then after that hold again your control so that the other grids are still selected so release control pan your drawing zoom in zoom out so hold control and then click again your grids pan click hold control and there you have it so it's now all selected then after that select here finish and there you go so you just copied the grids from the architectural model so don't forget to finish there you go so if i'm going to click the architectural model and then i'm going to hide that hide elements so as you can see i have now my grids here copied from the architectural model okay so let me undo that to show again the archi model now the next thing that we will be doing we're going to copy monitor the levels as well so let's go to the south elevation double click south elevation and then as you can see here i have my levels from my archi model so what i'm gonna do is collaborate copy monitor drop down select link select the link model so you click again uh, copy 
multiple okay and then I'll hold control I can use crossing selection like that okay and then after that let's finish it there you go I just copied now all the levels from the architectural model and then don't forget to finish okay so let me click one level and then let me adjust it so I can see my uh, structural model level let's adjust okay now I do not need these two levels here the def these two default levels so I'm going to select these levels here where is that this one and then hold control hold control to select the level one as well Oh, sorry so which is this one this one here that one and then delete DE on your keyboard or press delete and then this one so just be careful on selecting the level because right now I am selecting this level here which is what we do not want to delete so what we want to delete is this one here click oh, there you go so it's now highlighted and then delete don't need that there you go okay so now as you can see I don't have a floor plan here because we already deleted the two default levels so what we are going to do is we're going to create floor plans based on our levels here so to do that so let's go to the view tab plan views let's select floor plan click that okay and then I want to create floor plan for my entry level hold control 0 to floor 0 3 floor and roof I do not want to create the parapet level floor plan so I'll just select here okay and look there you go so we just created now our floor plans right there you have it perfect so that's it for this simple exercise so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day